Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hello! And welcome to a bonus video. Bonus video, here we go. So we've been wanting to share this for a couple of weeks now but we were waiting until everything got sorted with it but we're super excited to share with you our brand new piece of merch. Yes, uh, you've probably guessed what it's sort of revolving <laughs> around. Um, we wanted to put something out that was sort of Centred a bit on Halloween. Yes. But then also it's going to be something that will be with the shop after Halloween's over. But we wanted to sort of um, get it out around Halloween because it just fits in nicely. Yeah, it fits in perfectly. And now that it's hit October, it's the perfect time to add it to our Etsy. And so it is another pin because we obviously were trying to uh, complete a certain collection. <laughs> you can probably guess what collection we are completing. <laughs> yeah, um, so without any further ado, let's show it. So three, two, one. <gasps> happy Chappy Phantom! <laughs> <laughs> He's a happy Chappy Phantom, and that's your Phantom fact. Oh, we just had to do it. We had to. <laughs> and we thought this is perfect to bring out around Halloween. Of course you can wear Happy Chappy Phantom at any time of the year mm -hmm. because he is always at Disneyland Paris. He's always at the ready. He's always <laughs> there to try and frighten you. Uh, but we thought now was the perfect time to release the pin to our Etsy store um, just so that we could celebrate Halloween a little bit as well. Um, but of course he is Happy Chappy Phantom so he's not too scary. So if we just look at the design, um, so we've got the, the fan Phantom himself, uh, and this is him in the middle of his laughing, which is like when you're about halfway through the ride. And uh, I think it was I got this from like the first time that you see him. Yeah. <laughs> when he's in like the the graveyard bit, just looking ever so happy. <laughs> so I thought that's what we'd do. Um, Tinking a bit with sort of the look of him and the the face and the skull and he does look really happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got his glowing red eyes. Got his usual. Uh, jacket and hat on so you can identify who it is and then uh, yeah we got a happy chappy phantom with the writing because we always like to write on the badge what it actually is and they're like catchphrase yeah and um, so of course we've got creepy hyena we have new guy ralph we have a slinking dog yeah and now happy chappy phantom uh and then though i sort of focused on the design of the actual uh phantom that's what i sort of sketched out first that's what i originally had the idea for it was helner who then had the idea for these extra flourishes um so we just added some cobwebs just to make him that little bit more um happy chappy phantom as if he is in phantom manor because of course there are a <laughs> lot of cobwebs going on in phantom manor and then this little guy we added him last and that is just a little spider hanging from the top um just to keep in the same theming it's happy chappy phantom and the cobwebs uh, yeah but in terms of the spider so it was like well what spider should we put on and then I was researching spiders and then like one of the most deadly spiders that you could you can come across is the black widow spider. And then I just thought that because Melanie, if you don't know the story of Phantom Manor, <laughs> uh, I urge you to go and watch my um, sort of uh, history, a brief history of Phantom Manor where I explain the story. But um, Melanie, who's the Phantom's daughter, uh, she's had all these proposals and people who are going to marry her, but then they've all been bumped off, killed off. Um, so she is, in essence, a bit of a widow, mm. even though she didn't actually marry them. Yeah. So I thought that that tied in quite well. Um, but I just love the badge. I love the colour. Of course, it's a completely different colour to like all our different badges. They all have a very distinct colour palette. Um, so we definitely use all the shades of purple um, in the Happy Chappy Phantom badge. And then of course we have a quote up the top and it's welcome curious friends. <laughs> and that we took from the narration, uh, the Vincent Price narration as you enter the ride. Um, welcome curious friends, he says. We did think about some other lines, but they were a bit too long. They're a bit too long. <laughs> what was the one we thought of, the uh, really long one? The first one, which is actually my favorite line is perhaps you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. But that was coming off of the card. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we went with welcome curious friends and it looks really cute there and I, I love it because it kind of welcomes you to the badge as well mm-hmm. um, and then it has happy chappy phantom round pin badge and then of course it has Sir Helena and Martin at the top and then our YouTube channel at the bottom um, so this is the perfect addition to our pin badge collection on the Etsy and we're mm-hmm. just super excited and it's just the perfect time to release him and another reason why we decided to do it is because of course with our Disney quizzes we've had the different rounds so yes. the Slinky Dog the Creepy Hyena the new guy Ralph and then one of the rounds you can also you can also be one of the scores you can get is Happy Chappy Phantom so if anybody's uh, been in that category yes and wants to, to get a badge to sort of commemorate that then <laughs> uh, you can get this uh, what we like about this badge as well is that even though it's very personal to us because of course we call him Happy Chappy Phantom and he's in the quiz etc um, but also we just thought if you are a Phantom Manor fan then this is the perfect badge for you or yeah. if you know someone who loves the ride Phantom Manor um, then it's a great badge to get for them as well yeah I really I like it because it's paying homage to a certain ride yeah which is your favourite yeah. <laughs> as we all know because <laughs> uh, even though like Creepy Hyena pays homage to It's a Small World that's quite a subtle thing yeah. for people to sort of pick out whereas I think this really says oh Phantom Manor Disneyland yeah. Paris <laughs> So if you want to get your hands on a happy chappy phantom <laughs> uh, badge, then you can head on over to our Etsy store. They're going to go live on there at around quarter past seven. The reason I say around quarter past seven is because we'll probably press to go live at quarter past seven, but then Etsy just takes a couple of minutes, I think, to register it on the page. So just keep hitting refresh and then it'll it'll come up. Now, we only have a limited number to start off with. So we've only gone with 50 to begin with. Um, this is a badge that we will keep uh, adding to the shop, just like the others. Yeah. Um, so you can get it after Halloween. But if you really want to try and get them before Halloween, um, then make sure you head on over to the Etsy store because we only have 50 to begin yes. with. But we're really excited. Uh, we hope you love him as well. And <laughs> yeah, we're building up our collection, of course. Um, If you do the quizzes, you are probably thinking, hmm, there is one that (laughs) is missing out at the moment. And yeah, keep your eyes peeled um, because we would love to complete that collection. Yeah. Um, You could obviously guess who it is. (laughs) Yeah, don't worry. We we are working on something. Hopefully, I mean, we're we're pretty near, I think, finalising that one. So that should hopefully come soon. Um, But we just wanted to take this moment as well to thank everyone who has purchased one of our badges. It means the absolute world to us. Um, Whether you've purchased a Slinky Dog, a New Guy Ralph, a Creepy Hyena or a Happy Chappy Phantom. Um, It just means the world to us and we just want to say thank you so much for supporting us. And we have really fallen in love with creating our Etsy. Yeah. Um, And we are hoping to continue it and to spend a bit more time in creating different items Mm -hmm. and also different designs. Um, of course, at the moment, all our badges are very specific to our channel, yeah. which we love because it's kind of like an in-joke. Um, and we love that they are so personal to us and our channel. Um, but we are also going to think about branching out and maybe doing a few more generic designs just because we'd really love to build up our Etsy. Mm-hmm. Um, so keep an eye out over the next few months because we are thinking of starting up a separate Instagram page for our Etsy. Um, so I'll be sure to post the link and then if you want to follow for any of the Etsy store updates if you follow that Instagram page um, then we'll update you on there Yeah. but I think that's everything I think so yeah so happy Chappy Phantom there he is uh, he's ready and waiting to, uh, <laughs> to answer your call <laughs> <laughs> you're going to sing you got to do you got to do your your rhyme I did it at the beginning he's a happy chappy phantom and, and that's your phantom, phantom fact, fact. <laughs> although I feel bad that I haven't actually done a, maybe I should do a phantom manor fact in this video oh yeah maybe I should go and do that right I managed to find something so this one's about uh, who helped out on the renovation of phantom manor so Daniel Joseph the imaginary in charge of special effects and illusions for the 2018 renovation of phantom manor himself a long time enthusiast He was all about Yale Gracie when he was a child, reading about special effects. You'll know about Yale Gracie if you watch my brief history of um, Pirates of the Caribbean for like all the amazing effects, which he then also did for uh, Haunted Mansion and other attractions. 
After working for several years in California, Daniel Joseph was made responsible for the Illusioneering Lab near Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. He placed a portrait of his idol, Yale Gracie, in the lab. Uh, for Joseph, the Haunted Mansion was Gracie's masterpiece. Uh, working on the renovation of Phantom Manor was a true joy for Joseph and the chance to pay tribute to his master, Yale Gracie. Oh, so he was like a huge fan of him. Yeah. And brought that magic to Phantom Manor. To Phantom well. Manor. <laughs> so quickly before we end this video, we just wanted to let you know that this badge is the same price as all of our other badges. It is three ninety nine plus postage, and we can post um, to the UK and also internationally. So yeah. no matter where you are, you are able to get a Happy Chappy Phantom badge if you wish. And that's what always astonishes us is like, you know, sending them off to to Germany, to the Netherlands, to America, America, to Ireland, to Wales, everywhere. It's just... Um, Even like places in the UK, yeah. like Newcastle. Yeah. Or you're always like, oh, I know, I know, from yeah. Newcastle. And Spain as well. Oh, it's, just, it's just incredible. Thank you so much. And to finish our Etsy store, if you do want to find the badges, it'll be linked in the description box. But it's if you go on to Etsy, just search So Helena and Martin and we come up. Yay. So thank you so much for watching everyone and just a quick reminder that it will be 7.15pm so a few minutes after this video ends that they will go live. Yes. Um, so thanks so much for watching and your support always and we will see you in our next video which will be another Alton Towers vlog. Yes. <laughs> see you then. Bye. Toodle Pipsky. <laughs> Everyone's doomed at Phantom Manor. Even you.